This is Investment Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Daily live streaming interactive featuring Mrs. Backup. Subscribe, hit the notification, smash the likes. Now, here's Backup Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to Investment Perspectives, everybody. Thank you for coming back to the channel. Please hit the like and subscribe. And if you like the information here, please retweet and share this on whatever social platforms you are. Let's broaden the conversation. And I have to thank everybody out there for your support. We just crossed 11,000 subscribers. So excited that we're on the move again. This is really, really positive times in light of all the things that we all are having to adjust and deal with with that being said let's get started so shout out to xrp crypto wolf follow xrp crypto wolf great information and provided to the community here so let's check it out federal reserve announces it will conduct one trillion dollars in daily repo operations for the rest of march wow how much will it cost everyone in the future great question xrp crypto wolf let's listen to cnbc and just hear this 30 second cut what now? Uh, the Federal Reserve announcing now that it will do $1 trillion of repo every day for the rest of the month. It, it's hard to put this in context of the idea that the Fed used to do tens of billions or maybe even at the outside hundreds of billions. But now it will do two overnight repo operations of $500 billion each, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. It's been doing that this week. It's a sign of tremendous distress in the credit markets and the Fed's attempt to provide overnight liquidity to liquefy vast parts of the credit markets that are now frozen as a result of this. So as a result of the current health events. So um, here's the other thing. He makes a statement in there about, um, he makes a statement in there about how you, normally you see the Fed in the market for tens of billions, and then hundreds of billions, but now a trillion. Here's a little dirty secret. The Fed's not supposed to be in the repo market at all. It's where banks go to lend money to each other. And what has happened is that the banks with a shortfall of cash usually go to that market so they can get their books right by next business day. They usually have one to two days to pay it back and they borrow it from some other bank with excess cash. And that's how that gets done. However, since last year, Cryptopolis and I have been reporting on the fact that the Fed has had to in inject capital into the repo market because the banks with excess cash won't lend to the banks with a shortfall. That has gone from tens to hundreds of billions to now a trillion daily in operations. And they're telling you it's because of the current health events. However, this has been a systemic problem since last year because Cryptopolis and I have been reporting on it, on it. So here's the big deal here. You want to pay attention to how this narrative is being continued, because I believe that this is a very, very relevant current health event crisis. Everybody should take the necessary steps to keep you and your family safe. Now, with that being said, I also believe that at the same time, there's a parallel happening here. There's a current economic crisis, and it is global. It is not isolated to just any one country like the U.S. This is a global crisis, and I believe it's on twofold. It is the health event, and it is the economy as well. So, and in fact, I believe that is what they're using this situation to shut the sectors of the economy and countries down at a time across the globe in phases. Oh, Brad, this is quite a statement. How, how do you make these statements like this? Well, during the swine flu in 2009, I did a little research. I want you to listen to these numbers really carefully. 60.8 million cases of the swine flu from 2009, April to 2009, or 2010, April. April to April in one year, 60.8 million cases. 274,304 of those people were hospitalized. 12,469 of those people, unfortunately, lost their lives. This is in the United States. Not one time during that period 
of that particular situation did you see any of this? Take a look at this. Sears Tower in the background. It's earlier today. Shout out to Bernie Gavlin. This or Glavin, this is a look at military vehicles being moved into to, to Chicago on railroad car. Right? Now, let me keep this going because we're not done here yet. I want to keep this going for you. All right, so this is really nice. I'm not going to play this whole thing, but somebody unfortunately took a spill on their little moped. They had a bunch of crates of apples, buckets of apples that they were going to take to market. And humanity is still among us, everybody. Everybody got out of their cars and helped these people collect their harvest so they can get back onto the market. What a beautiful display of humanity. And during a time like this, I bring these things up to show you because I believe we can all conduct ourselves this way no matter what we have to go through. And this is just a fine example as any. Let's keep it going. So as we move forward, yesterday late close, right before close, we were down 700 plus. I think it actually slipped even a little more. Always watch for these late day slips in this market. Shout out to Jim Rickards. Big fan of Jim Rickards, the gold guy, a presidential advisor, economist, and he's been an advisor to many different presidents. He is one smart guy and a book author. Definitely a gold bug, but I really love his insight. You should follow this guy. Here, I'm not going to play this, but this is Ken uh, Rogoff or Rogoff uh, talking, the former chief economist from the IMF, talking about how a trillion dollar stimulus from the U.S. is the right step in the right direction but nowhere near what needs to happen. That is the level that this economy is collapsing, and it is being done on purpose. Now, in that process, they're telling it's for our best interest, but I remind you of the swine flu. We don't have numbers anywhere close or near what that was in 2009 to 2010. I'm not suggesting this is not real. It is a very real event. What I'm suggesting is, is that there's a very different approach happening to this event. And I believe because it runs parallel with an economic collapse and a financial reset. Here's another piece of information. Business banking, banning banknotes, asking customers to use credit and debit cards. You get my drift? Let's keep this going. Uh, this was a really, really great post here. Finestra hacked the world's third largest fintech, hit by ransomware. And then uh, this was a comment, I believe, under this. I want to see if I can find this comment really quickly. XRP Darren nailed it. A narrative is being set up. Let's move to a blockchain-based system. Perfect. Nailed it. XRP Darren is amazing. And shout out to XRP will set me free. Love that name right there. Here's another picture that is from Coin Pimpin' 1, 2, and 3. My B is XRP. Look at this. California Governor Gavin Newsom has tonight deployed the California National Guard to only distribute food. Take a look at this now. Look at the massive chain of tanks moving through California in this video. Take a look at that. That is nose to tail right there. Just for food and water, everybody. That's all. Just for food and water. That's all it is. And here we go. This is in Holland. Shout out to the Spiritual Groove. This is the same situation happening right now. Boys, is that your Amos words? In Holland. As you can see, the tanks come around. The lockdown comes around. He says, when you see the military mobilizing on the street, it's not for quarantine. It's for the economic collapse, in his opinion. I think he's got it. Massive amount of military equipment is on the move around the USA at the moment. And take a look at this other video of more of the same happening around the country and the globe. Tanks and the railroad system is being used right now to deploy an enormous amount 
of National Guard support all over the country, as well as the globe. This, seeing this this morning really did it for me. The Economist. The Economist magazine is the magazine in 1987-88 that put the Phoenix Rising with cash burning at its feet and the Phoenix Rising from it with a new coin and new money on the cover of the magazine in 1988, if I have it right. And this is what they've put today. Planet Earth is shutting down because of the current health event. The struggle to save lives in the world economy will present leaders with agonizing choices. The mitigated gall. They do this right in the front of our face. They wave it right in front of our face. This is a financial reset, ladies and gentlemen. Widely, it is a financial reset. And we all have to take precautions for the current health event. It is a very real reality as well. The people in Italy can confirm. Those people have been devastated with this. And it has really, really wiped out a lot of human life. We got to be careful. We have to be sanitary. We got to be clean. We need to keep a certain level of civility, right? Treat your neighbor as you have want yourself treated the whole bit. You all know the drill. This isn't a speech. It's just a reminder to not be the panic buyer, right? Think ahead. Hit the store when it first opens. Grab a couple things. Not eight, not ten, right? Think about the old man or the old woman who can't get to the store quite as fast. Would you want your grandmother or your mother to not be able to get a case of water? You know, in this time, I think it is, if you look at the way the world is being shut down, it's a plan. You can't argue with that. You could disagree with how I feel about the two different narratives happening at once. But regardless, you can see that things are systematically being shut down. There is no debating that. So w whatever narrative you believe or don't believe or whatever reality you understand or don't, the truth is it's systematically being shut down on purpose. So at the very least, hospitals and grocery stores will remain open. But at the very least, it looks like over the next couple weeks, things are going to look quite differently and probably feel a little more imposing when you do have to go out of your home to go get things. Remain calm. Don't let it, stir, don't let it shake you. Because at the end of the day, we are the XRP community. And I do believe that we all have a very good understanding about what is actually taking place here. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope in some way the information has been helpful, and I hope it encourages us to keep the conversation going. Hit the like and subscribe. Again, if you like this content, please retweet and share with somebody that you know so we can get this audience even bigger. And again, thank you. Just crossed 11,000 subs. You guys are amazing. There is no stopping where we're going. It's all the way to the top. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.